just to reemphasize the importance of this training facility. Recently uh, attended training with uh, Jocko Willink, who managed uh, training for all the Navy SEALs um, in the United States at, at one point in his career. What he spoke about is real-time training. And traditionally, police have trained um, to stationary targets for shooting. Um, the only problem is in the field, those stationary targets move. And there are other factors, there's crowds and things that come into play. What we need in Lake County is realistic training in real life scenarios. So this building will provide not only uh, um, shoot, don't shoot uh, scenarios that play out on computers where the officer faces different individuals in different situations. It will have tactical training in, in a building with movable walls so you're not always walking in and knowing what you're walking into. This realistic training is critical. But more importantly, besides that, this training will be provided to all Lake County Police Departments. They will all have access to this facility. The Sheriff's Office will manage this training facility. Uh, Detective Jeff Bell, who is our range instructor, will move to that and will manage getting departments in and out in an efficient manner to properly use this facility and all Lake County law enforcement will benefit from this new technology and new training facility. Sounds like a great program and proposal. When it gets done, I really would like to take a tour of that. I think it, it it's going to be it's going to make a big difference, I think, for Lake County. That's great. Thanks. Mr. President, sir, I just want to thank the sheriff for bringing this to the commissioner's attention, how we could not only improve training for the sheriff's office, but make this available to all of the police departments in Lake County. So it's going to be a resource going forward. Many of them pay for training outside of the county today. And from here on out, they're going to be able to work with our sheriff and get the best training available right here. Actually, Sheriff, uh, not, not, to, not to contradict my colleague, but didn't we bring this to you? Hey, what can we do for all of Lake County law enforcement? And you really stepped up. I, I think it's more correct. We were actually looking at a possible project with a private organization. The Sheriff said, hey, we could do it right here in-house. So I think in context, the Sheriff well, I, 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 stepped up. I think the commissioners have worked very closely with um, law enforcement in Lake County to bring, to see what what difference can we make and and that is where the credit should be with your office in turn because there was a proposal by a private entity uh, you know people are going here and there uh, we'd like you to come here and, and I don't believe that's that was in the best interest of Lake County law enforcement to do that and so this was a better option and I and when I approached the Lake County Chiefs, they all uh, unanimously agreed that this was the best direction to go for the county. And if I could just add the sheriff's leadership uh, building, talk about building bridges from our first public comment portion. You've made extreme advances with our local uh, chiefs. The, uh, the level of commitment and the interactions between the sheriff's office has gone up exponentially. Uh, since uh, your time in office as sheriff. So I think if we're going to give credit, we should really give credit for uh, all these great things that uh, Sheriff Liam Brew has been doing as, as a diplomat as well as our uh, chief law enforcement officer. Well, I don't want to say if it's, uh, Lake County has great police chiefs and great law enforcement. And so working together is the natural way to move, and I'm glad we're able to do that. Nice to have that collaboration in Lake County. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you. Good. Thank you, sir.